sa kasalukuyan. What's up guys? Welcome back to Mars Daily, your daily dose of photo and video and a little more about me. So ngayong araw, it's vlog number 2, technically season 2, but yeah, ito binabalik kong pagdi-daily vlog. Sana naparan nyo yung upload kahapon dahil ang epic ng pag edit na natang epic ng collab na yun. Sobrang daming tawaran, sobrang daming kulitan. Actually, yung dami pang deleted scene, so wait lang, natanggalin ko muna yung... Tanggalin ko yung mga, mga basahan. Saan, tatanggalin, papalitan. So, you know, it will be clean para mainis yung kotse. So, kung narod ka ng vlog kahapon, sa last part, kung nakarating ka man hanggang last part, sabi ko pag-uusapan natin kung bakit ang vlogging ay nakakatulong sa isang videographer. Why vlogging can help videographers grow. There's basically... Ang hirap gawin. <laughs> May tatlong rason kung bakit para sa akin ang vlogging ay nakakatulong sa isang videographer nakatulog ko. Wait lang, balik mo natin to. Yeah. Mga pala, sabi ko nga pala sa isa ko ng vlog, ibabalik ko na yung pagbibirol. So... Okay, I know sobrang random ng nung B-roll na yun, pero it's still B-roll. At saka, it's, it's, a, it's a brand new start na i-incorporate kong B-roll palagi sa, sa mga vlog. To get to the main point of this vlog, reason number one kung bakit nakakatulong ang vlogging sa isang videographer is because kapag nagpa-vlog ka, lagi kang on the go. At sa buhay ng isang videographer, alam naman natin na kapag tayo ay nasa event, lagi tayong on the go. As in, sobrang on the go. May times na pumapalya tayo sa pagiging on the go dahil hindi mo sure kung anong lens or anong gear yung dapat mong gamitin. Sabihin na lang natin may mga videographer din na nag event lang. After that, binawa ka ng camera ng ilang araw. Just, ano yun? Parang... I am a freelance videographer myself and I just wanna make a point out na you should try vlogging. Dahil sobrang natulungan ako ng pag-vlog as a videographer to become the run and gun person that I am supposed to be. Dahil kung, kung ikaw, isa kang videographer, alam mo na sa mga events, sobrang run and gun halos. As in, dapat dalawang, ako, usually dalawang lens lang, isang prime, isang telephoto, I'm good. Or isang wide, isang prime, I'm good. It's the same case with vlogging. Kasi kapag nag-vlog ako, wide lens lang gamit ko, 50mm, I'm good, I'm safe. Also, a key factor on that is, it makes you more prepared. Mas mabilis ako magpalit ng lens ngayon compared dati na. Pag nagpalit ako ng lens, takip! One, two, three, kuha. That's how vlogging affected me very much pagdating sa, you know, sa career ko as a videographer. And reason number two, change tayo ng venue kasi, I've been vlogging for like a lot of episodes na puro sa bahay lang, so, baka sa bahay lang din ulit. <laughs> wait lang. Balikan ko kaya, wait, wait lang, wait lang. Sana may point tong sinabi ko. That's reason number one. Balikan ko kayo, wait lang. Okay, so dito pa rin tayo. Reason number two kung bakit sobrang nakatulong ang vlogging sa career ko as a videographer is dahil never ako naging stagnant. Almost every single day na nag-daily vlog ako, hawak ko yung camera ko. Lagi kong tinutweak yung settings, lagi kong, lagi kong na-exercise, kumbaga, yung conditions na meron sa isang location. Let's say, nandito ako sa loob ng bahay, gagamit ba ako ng ND, gagamit ba ako ng ganto, ng ganyan na lighting. Alam ko na yung proper conditions, ultimo sa labas. So, when I go outside, on the field, sa pag-event, without even, you know, kahit di pa ako nakakarating sa venue, alam ko na yung tamang settings ng ISO, tamang settings ng shutter speed. Nagamit ba ako ng 120 frames sa part na to kasi madilim? Hindi. It also basically helps you out. Master your own gear. Dahil sa kakavlog mo, kakagalaw mo sa camera mo. Kasi inamin ko dati nung bago ako sa, sa side. Nung bago ako dati sa field of videography. Ang ginagawa ko lang is may camera ako. Pag, pagpunta ko ng event, event ako, kuha ko, shoot, edit, pag uwi. Wala nang gagawin. Papahinga ako until dumating ang next client. It's not a good example as a videographer na hindi mo na exercise ang skills mo almost every single day. Kasi para rin yung sport, it's like basketball. Para rin yung, you know, it's it's like any of 
your other hobbies na kailangan mong i-exercise kung gusto mong magaling. So, I found vlogging as a way para ma-develop ko yung skills ko as a videographer. Kahit nga yung mga ibang tao na hindi videographer, nag-vlog agad, natuto ng cinematic shots, natuto ng mga proper technical terms. Hindi nila alam videographer na sila. Alam na nila yung, 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 yung right stuff, the right shutter speed, the right proper exposure in a video. Alam nila yung ups and downs ng camera nila. So, basically, vlogging helps you out master your own gear. Ako, alam ko na yung M50 ko all around ever since nung nagpalit ako ng 700D last year. Without even knowing, I know my own weakness. 4K weakness, it's not a weakness. Um, let's just say, mag-jump ako sa event bukas, I know what to do. Alam ko yung shoot ko, alam ko yung proper angle, alam ko yung gusto ko agad. Kasi, it also helps you out extend your creative, I mean, yung creative imagination mo, araw-araw mo rin na exercise. So, basically, you have an empathy for when you film others. Kapag na-exercise mo yung pag-film sa sarili mo every day, you know how to look good. Pero, I think that will be reason number three. So, this time, by the time of venue. Okay, so reason number three. Bakit nga ba sobrang naapekto ako ng vlogging as a videographer? Dahil nagkaroon ng empathy on how to look proper in front of the camera. One mistake I usually make dati is that I don't have the empathy of how would you want to look in front of the camera. I don't care. I care more about the angle than the person itself which is wrong. It's also important if you want your client to be impressed on how do they look in front ng, ng, you know, ng camera mo. It's important na alam mo yung proper placing or proper angle ng isang tao. Yeah. Would the person look good on this side? This side, bird style view or low angle if the person is... In no offense, if the person is fat, usually that's yun yung, yun yung sisitahin nila sa shot. Bakit ang taba ako sa shot na yan? Find another angle. Mas mukha ba silang payat pag bird's eye? Are, are you gonna use a wide lens? Are, are you going to, you know, use a prime lens para mag-focus na lang sa isang angle ng mukha nila? Nowadays, people are like that. Mas din yung demanda nila or mas concerned sila syempre kung anong itsura nila in front of the camera dahil syempre din document mo yung memories nila. So, they wanna look good. They they, they wanna remember how good they look sa uh, mismong event na yun. So, I hope that makes a point. Kasi, nagkaroon ako ng empathy kung ano yung gusto kong maging itsura ko sa vlog. Masyado ba akong maliit tignan? Masyado ba akong maitim tignan? Eh, expose ko nang tama yung sarili ko sa frame proper lighting you know like the proper three point lighting na gusto ko so let's also point out na naging concerned ako more on sa lighting ever since na nag daily vlog ako pero alam niyo actually tatlong bagay ang pinaka naging concern ko lighting location and lighting location looks sa looks yun yung sinasabi kong proper angle sa location yun yung sinasabi kong gaano ba ka aesthetic yung gusto kong feel sa vlog. And last thing, lighting. Which is one important factor dahil hindi ako gumagamit ng full frame. Converted lang sa full frame yung camera ko dahil sa speed booster. But we still have reason number four kung bakit nga ba ang vlogging nakakatulong sa isang baguhang videographer. At ito ay... Wait lang. <laughs> Wait lang ulit. Is it just me or ako lang ba nag enjoy sa gantong weather? So apparently, yeah, we're having actually a bad weather in the Philippines, but I actually love this weather. <laughs> if you love this weather, the rainy, cold, if you love this weather, of course, don't forget to leave a like. Lastly, sabi ko kanina, three, you know, three ways how videography made me grow as a videographer. Turns out, this vlog turned out to be how vlogging improved me as a videographer. Okay, so one besides vlogging made me on the go, helped me out master my gear, and three made me more aesthetically concerned on my subjects or my clients. Lastly, if you're a new videographer, you should try out vlogging. It's good. It's fun. Kumbaga hindi ka mangangalawang as a videographer because you, you're always exercising your own craft every single day. I know if you're new, it's better kung marami kang clients but if you're you know you know at the moment not getting too much clients you should try you should try out vlogging vlogging filmmaking you know all those crazy stuff because i believe as a videographer um it's important 
to experience a lot of stuff, especially in the field of making video. It's also important na may expose ka sa iba ibang klasing scenarios na meron, which is if you're daily vlogging, it is kasi marami scenarios tulad nito na maulan. Vlogging actually molded me into a better videographer. Kung aspiring videographer ka, or if you're a new videographer, you should try it out. At I would love to hear your experience. What made you improve kung videographer ka? Besides attending the workshops, um, you know, going out with pros. Kung videographer ka, katulad ko, na nag-vlog din, comment down below. Of course, I have friends who, who are, you know, videographers turned vloggers, but still videographers. I know a couple of people. And yeah, I might do a giveaway. Yeah, I might do a giveaway. Mag-giveaway ako ng... Magi giveaway on a mic. Di ko pa sa sabing ko anong mic yun. It, of course, it's a mic for vlogging. Um, yeah, comment down below. At syempre, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. Ring the notification bell to be notified on the next upload, which is tomorrow. Another rainy day season tomorrow. Maulan na naman, mga sir. Hindi na natapos yung weather dito, but I, I sure do miss being a student dahil kung you know if you're a student if you're a working person like us adults hindi mo na mararanasan yung classes suspended but yun nga para sa mga aspiring videographers dyan try nyo mag vlog try nyo mag youtube it's a very good experience and always remember exercise your craft every way possible if you want to be the best I hope that that gives out a good code so yeah subscribe Peace out.